Hi everyone, so here back again with another video. So in this video, we're going to create a saloon website. So here you, you can check, we have the slider, we have the menu, we have the image, and we have logo. And also you can check here the multiple services like a makeup, hair color, hair cut, hair setting, professional photo shoot. So these kind of uh, things also, if you have any other services, so also you can add. And uh, if you don't want any other services, definitely you can remove from there. So now I'm going to scroll down here. You can add your sections about you only yeah, or about your organization. So if you want to put something, of course, you can put here. And also if you want to remove this, this one and also you want any additional part uh, as a compared to this one, I mean, section definitely you can do from your side. And you can check in below. We have the also the one sections our work. So of course, like a testimonial kind of things also you can add here. Uh, yes, just to scroll down. Here we have the textual sections also. Here you can check we have the multiple clients and also you want to in additional clients you can add easily. So how you can add definitely I will tell you how you can add here. The for confirmations or booking appointment you want just you can also put your number here. And also one map also is there. So of course you can also add your location so anyone can directly reach. Just click in the direction button and also we have the footer section in footer sections you have uh, I mean multiple services we have and email and address and business hours we have and any other things you want so easily you can change how you can change definitely i will tell you so just wait for a few minutes and also just click on the about section same things also you can add like you want to share about your experience what you have done past and uh, your total of year of your experience so what kind of missions you have and your services so of course you can put in here also okay and just again just click in the service section and here you can add your all service which is related to your beauty parlor and salon okay so additional services also you can put here okay like a skin treatment fashion makeup and hair setting so yeah here is spa complete makeover so yes if a key question if someone want to ask something definitely you can i mean frequently ask by the your customer so you can put your questions and answer as well as here so now just to scroll down here again we have the booking appointment button so if anyone want to call so just click the, this button of course anyone can call easily and again we have the contact form also so in the contact form or you can add your map your form yes so this way you can create your website so just guess how much dollar you need to invest for this website i'm just telling you the indian currency you need to spend 20 i mean of course 2000 rupees only and then you can create include the domain and hosting so yes you need to spend 2000 rupees only so how you can buy this domain uh, any domain specifically you want to from you i mean of course you have any saloon and you want to put any specific name of course you need the particular domain and same things also you need one hosting so how you can buy domain and hosting i'm going to tell you okay so just go to the domain racer website in the domain racer just click on the domain and Suppose any is for India, I think just I typed and basically yes. So is for India studio.com, but we have right now here as a USD. So you can change currency as a INR. So INR for in India location. So any, I mean, if you are from other countries, Europe, of course you can select and USD you want, of course you can add. Okay. So now I just click on the add. So here you can check we have the view card and view card we have one uh, service so just click on the share hosting also if you have already I mean hosting or if you don't want any hosting you can select whatever service provider you have and so I am going to select any plan which is provided the cloud the um, sorry which is provided by the domain pressure so look we have the basic plan professional plan silver and advanced so I am going to select personal so I am going to select because I have one website and I want to unlimited storage unlimited bandwidth so yeah I'm going to select this one so once I clicked on just click on the use again we have the order summary again click on here 
and TNS protection ID protection just click here again so after clicking the checkout button you need to put your information like a name email first name last name and company name street and of course the I mean of course the basic information you need to put here okay so after that complete you need to pay 2000 rupees something okay so once you've done you I mean everything's then what you need to do just click on the domain register I'm going to again domain register dot com I have already domain and hosting so I will try to log in just click on the login button after clicking the login button I need to put ID and password so once I click and then I need to go inside the service I have active services which is one right now and click on the active button So after clicking the active button, you need to scroll down and click on the login to cPanel. So now we are inside the cPanel and just scroll down again and click on the WordPress. Now here we are and just click on the remove, which is the previous website. So I'm going to remove here. Just click on the remove button. So this is taking a little bit time, a lot of time, of course, um, less than 30 seconds. So again, click on the install now button, and now we have this directory. So I'm going to remove here, and you can select easily which version you want. Okay, so I'm going to select 5.8 right now, and here you need to put the username, and below you need to password. So yes, I have just created the admin wallet right there. Of course, don't try to hack my website here. So again here you need to put here I mean email ID whatever email ID you have yes, so I have put it here again just click on install so this was process also a little less than 30 seconds so just click on the website which is the main website page and here we are in the inside the admin panel so now you can check this website looks like this one and now we are going to inside the admin panel so your admin panel look like this okay again click on the appearance and just click on the themes after clicking the appearance and themes click on add new now here we need to search astra now we get the extra thing just click on the installations process might be take take little bit of time so click on the install button keep pacing this process will take around 30 40 seconds something Now click on active. And click on the extra theme. Click on import plugin. So finally we are just click on the Elementor just select free version click on this car just click this thing and click import complete site I'm an expert apply click on the next click on this
yeah finally this is done so just click on the view side so yeah finally everything is done so what you need to do again so you want to change I think so suppose you want to put your name or your logo so what you need to do just click on, click on the customize button so now we can customize I mean of course like uh, you can update menu and uh, you want to change logo you can change easily just click on edit button yeah here just click on edit button yes we have this logo and of course you have any other logo you can put your logo okay so now we don't have any logo right now so suppose any other logo you want you can search for the internet here also so we don't have a lot of options here we don't have any other brands logo so of course okay just leave it here again so of course if you have any logo of course you can change from there so this is process is really easy and then you need to click on the this button okay so suppose now same things also you can change from the menu suppose you want to try to I even mean, put any things for the menu of course you can change from here you want to increase the width something so you can easily increase the width and uh, you want to change in menu section of course just click on it below and here we have the menu and if you want to home uh, inside of the services also you can do that yeah. so this process you can drag and drop and also you create a category and subcategories things as a I mean from here already and then, then you need to click on the publish button so after the clicking the publish button you can easily change this process yeah if you want to change something is of course you've written the call and you want to put your call number so easily you can try to that yeah so this process you can also change your number now I'm going to footer section so by the customization part you can of course try you can uh, customize your footer and menu this thing easily as a compared to go the dashboard okay and here you can check whatever it changes or not so here you can change the I mean Facebook icon links of course you have the page I think so yeah so if you have a page of course you need to put your page URL here only. same things you have the Twitter account if you have of course you need to put your URL here and same things also for the Instagram if you have Instagram ID of course you need to put here and anything else you want from your I think so you have YouTube something channel so you can create a YouTube add social icon something like this again and just click on the publish and if you have any other services just click on the service and you want to remove something so just try it you can click here remove and if you have any other services of course you can like categories if you have any categories if you have you look we have the uncategorized right now any tag we have so we can easily drag and drop here okay we're going to put here and then we publish so you want to change email id so this process will take I mean a little bit time but yeah of course you can change your email ID and password and business are so easily and you can maintain from there I think so hope so you are now aware about how you can customize your thing so now I'm going to again home page you want to change the banner and uh, the text and button and services name just click on the edit with Elementor so after clicking the edit with Elementor what you need to do just click on any section any specific sections you have and after the clicking the sections you can easily change the uh, suppose I just click here and you want to change the banner just click on this style okay after the clicking the style you can easily change the any logo and anything from your side only so now we have the not we have any background so we have written I mean of course we have by default selected by the any color we want to change any colors of course you can change but we can change easily okay so I just suppose by default whatever I mean of course you can push I mean in the server and just click here and here you can change you want to change something text of course you can change it easily so yeah, of course you have uh, your own beauty partner and it's possible of course you want to put your content so same things also you can put here and suppose you have any button like uh, any book appointment something so you want to put any link okay so you can here put your link suppose you have the contact page you can put the contact page you have okay and uh, also same things for the image so yeah you can change easy you can change of course image easily so yeah 
this process and uh, suppose I don't want any services in the home page so what you need to do just click on the home page here and any other page I mean services you want okay so like just click on the block click on the block after clicking block what you want suppose let me scroll down and here we have select and suppose you want to put client okay so yeah here the client information like I want to sorry so if you want to put any any other service like we have the client services and uh, so I just click on and get click on the get started after clicking the get started you need to verify from Elementor website I just click on the Elementor So now you can check we have the client thing so of course just click on the update button now i'm going to again back which is the home page basically let me go inside the home page so look we have the different clients right now we have services about us you can put here photo gallery Testimonial. So this way you can easily change the website. Same things for everything. I mean, every pages I'm talking about. Yeah. So you can add anything from here. Okay. So, but uh, here we don't have any form. So what you need to do? Just click on the Edit with Elementor. After clicking the Elementor thing, so let me check why form is not coming. Yeah. Just try to click on Edit. And here you can select Sample form now you can check your form but if your form not working what you need to do just for the home page and uh, i have already uploaded the one video so how to configure smtp in wordpress so you can check out from my channel yeah i'm going to search smtp wordpress so yes this video you can check out from my descriptions area also if you need to configure the SMTP how to configure SMTP of course and uh, this form basically controlled by the WP forms so I'm going to click here so this form also uh, we are using right now you want any other forms so you can also create your form and for the configuration thing you need to put the SMTP and you need to install the SMTP plugin you can say and after that you need to configure SMTP process this will take a little bit time but of course you can do that if you don't know how to configure you can watch out my video and uh, same thing so for any other information you need to relate it to the wordpress so let me know definitely I will try to explain you another video thank you for watching this video